here we are again. And uh, I hope you've had a good time uh, uh, discussing um, these gift people uh, this session. And um, I just want to close by trying to set some balance about where these gift people fit in the structure of the church. I can remember being in a church once where when the apostle, and he was recognized as an apostle over the church, when the apostle walked into the room, there was this kind of hush came over the room and uh, people almost bowing and curtsying uh, to this guy as he, as he came in and hanging on every word that he said. Uh, and, um, you know, it was that kind of, you know, if he said, uh, jump, you say, how high? Um, and uh, it was really, really odd. It just went very much against the grain with me. I didn't feel at all comfortable with it because um, it is so easy to abuse that kind of love and respect uh, from people. Now, uh, what don't hear me say things I'm not saying. So very important that we love and respect these gift ministries to the church. But we need to understand that, uh, you know, when you look at the, the scriptures, when these gift ministries are named, uh, the, the, they are lowercase. The beginning of the word is lowercase. The emphasis is much more on the role that they play than any kind of status or position. Um, so, you know, what we're describing here is a role, not a, uh, not a, a, a kind of a, um, an authority in that sense. That said, these people bring an authority in the area of their role, which we should respect. It would be wrong of us to think that these people, you know, walk on water and that, um, you know, when they leave us, they kind of get to the gate and disappear and then reappear in the next place they're going to. And, you know, I've heard all sorts of really ridiculous stories about, about things like that. And we don't want to go there. What we want to do is to love and to honour and to respect these people as they serve us by using their gift but not to not to find ourselves you know um really uh, uh chained to everything that they say and everything that they uh, would see or expect because they can get it wrong as well and um, i want to just encourage you for instance in the area of uh, apostleship that there are um, two people who uh, who we would see as apostles over this church. Uh, they were very much involved in the planting, in the starting of the church. They have been consistently involved in the life of the church. Um, they've been consistently involved in my life uh, for as long as I've been here. And um, I meet regularly with them. And we have worked hard at building relationship and understanding each other and loving each other. And I, I, I want to tell you, we would be in a mess if it weren't for these two men, um, if it wasn't for their input and their oversight. But I want you to understand that it, that all comes in the context of a really great relationship where um, they have never told me to do anything. They have never laid the law down. Uh, they have never told me to stop something. But as we have met and discussed things, out of love, they have taken me on a journey to understand sometimes why we need to perhaps take a slightly different direction or you know to understand that there's something that I need to deal with but I've never felt under any pressure I've never felt uh, them to be domineering or anything like that because it's all done out of love and relationship which is how it should be so we should be able to trust and enjoy the ministry of these people because we know them because we love them because we trust them. Um, I hope that helps and um, I will look forward to being with you next time.